Parts per million or parts per billion, as represented here in this image. So parts per million or parts per billion, depending on the last letter. Um, you can even see parts per trillion. Usually they um, use parts per million or parts per trillion or parts per billion to represent a very small amount of something like a pollutant or um, a solution of, or a substance that is very toxic. Uh, usually it's, it, they don't usually tell you parts per million when it's a large amount. Usually you hear things like three parts per million or, or, or 25 parts per billion is acceptable or toxic or something like that. So I have a graphic here for you uh, to help you recognize some of the differences. So one drop in a half cup of water is one part per hundred. Uh, a drop in a quart of water is one part per thousand. One drop in two bathtubs of water is one part per million. One drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool is one part per billion. And a drop in a lake is one part per trillion. So um, they're all found or solved in the same process based on percent by mass. So as I said, based on percent by mass, so percent by mass was um, mass of the part that you're looking for divided by the mass of the total. And in percent case, you multiply by 100. So if you're doing parts per billion, you're going to take the mass of the part divided by the mass of the total. And in this case, you're going to multiply by a billion, so 10 to the ninth. If we were doing parts per million, it's the same as all of just right here, times 10 to the sixth, because we're doing million. Uh, so parts per billion, parts per million, even parts per trillion, they're just telling you what factor to multiply by. All right, so how can we work with it? Well, if they give us 25 parts per million, they're just telling us that there are 25 of whatever substance in 1 million total things. So we could easily work through that. Um, if we were trying to change our 36 into part 36 percent into parts per million, we would take and recognize that 36 percent is the same as saying 36 grams for every 100 grams. And then we could multiply that by um, 1 million. And that would tell me how many parts per million I would have. Uh, so it's just by multiplying by a factor. As long as you look at the total, divide, um, I'm sorry, not the total. Let's make that go away. We're looking at the portion divided by the total multiplied by the, um, the factor. And in this case, our factors can be a million, a billion, and sometimes a trillion. I have not seen parts per anything higher. Um, not saying it can't be done, I just haven't dealt with it, and so you won't be either. Um, okay.